The villains continue getting some more in-depth support for these what-if episodes. And after Edamon, was Myotismon. Myotismon was one of the most recurring villains in the original Digimon Adventure series, and while his last printing was of Mallow Myotismon in BT3, and Venom Myotismon in EX1, there hasn't been any more. None of the Myotismon archetype has ever topped competitively, and any competitive players out there can prove me wrong, but it is a fun deck to play on the casual side. But for today's What If episode, I'm rolling in with some Digimon who've previously provided support in the past to other Digimon, so expect to see a lot of familiar faces yet again. As always, if you enjoy these types of videos, do consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell for more future content. First off, it's time for Demi Devimon to come back again. This Digimon does Digivolve into Devimon, but was always seen as a servant of Myotismon in Adventure 1. For 3 memory, this Digimon does not have a search effect. However, it does have an inheritable of, when attacking, you may place one purple Digimon from your hand under one of your purple Digimon, then draw one card. This allows you to place Myotismon cards underneath your Digimon as they attack in order to quickly fuel your trash with Myotismon named Digimon. Remember, Demi Devimon also went looking for Nom Noms for Myotismon while he recovered. This also allows you to use old cards like BT2 Devimon for inheritable retaliation. For the level 4, I introduce a new Wizard Mon. This Digimon has Jamming, an inheritable Jamming while the Digimon is level 5 or lower, meaning you can load Myotismon as it's attacking with Jamming. Otherwise, it just dies to an option card if it checks one. Stat-wise, this Digimon is a 5-cost body with 5,000 DP. But Myotismon is where the real fun begins. Myotismon has a Your Turn effect that if you have 6 or more cards with Myotismon in their name in your trash, when you Digivolve into a level 6 Digimon with Myotismon in its name, set the Digivolution cost to 0. When attacking, you may delete one of your other Digimon. This Digimon gains plus 3,000 DP until the end of your turn. And on deletion, Draw 2, Trash 2. This Myotismon is arguably one of the most powerful Myotismon in the game. While it does have an 8 cost associated with it to play, or 3 to Digivolve into, its base stat line is 8000 DP. Meaning comparatively, it can tackle some mega level Digimon. But it also sets up trash if it's deleted for your future Myotismon plays. But the reasoning for the 6 Myotismon in trash? Remember, the Hour of the Beast is 666. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for talking about satanic elements, but hey, that was OG Digimon Adventure. But you all know that this video is primarily geared towards Venom Myotismon. Venom Myotismon returns as a new Digimon, 13 cost of play, 5 to Digivolve into with a base stat line of 13,000 DP. When Digivolving, for every Digimon your opponent has in play, place one purple Digimon card from your trash underneath this Digimon as its bottom Digivolution source. Mmm. Feed me. Feed me more! All turns, while this Digimon has 6 or more Digivolution sources, this Digimon gets Piercing, Retaliation, and Security Attack plus 1 for each Digimon with Myotismon in this Digimon's Digivolution sources. End of turn, trash the bottom Digivolution card of this Digimon. So I get it. I get there's a lot to take in with this card. When Digivolving, you can basically increase this Digimon's Digivolution stack to gain more effects. While you do need 6 or more Digivolution sources, a typical Digivolution stack to level 6 is only 4 sources under. Meaning you have effects to feed into that. Though honestly, if this deck were ever competitive, at least this gives you the reason to play blue cards like Surai. But in turn, this card could also run cards like X Antibody to prevent the Digivolution sources from ever getting trashed. In general, Venom Myotismon and Mallow Myotismon were prominent villains of the Digimon franchise. That to this day, they do not have really competitive decks. EX1 Venom Myotismon had some neat combat tricks that may be improved with the addition of Retaliator elements from BT11. But what are your thoughts? What are other villains you'd like to see? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you next week on my final deck profile before Nationals. This is Digipanda, logging out.